Hello everybody, welcome to Portia T Air and it's me, your girl, Portia T Air. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. As you can see from the title, this will be another video from my wedding series that I'm doing here on the channel. As some of my subscribers may know, or the new watchers, I am engaged. Set to get in, set to get in, set to get married next year in July. Enough about that. Y'all don't care about that. I see why you guys are here. If you're a bride-to-be like myself and you all see all the reviews and all the opinions on David's bridal, it just makes you go, uh, either people have a real horrible experience going to David's bridal or they have a great experience. So I decided to check out David's bridal. If you guys have already checked out my videos, you see that I did already pick out my wedding gown but prior to me picking out my wedding gown, I had already scheduled this appointment at Davis Bridal. Once I found my dress, I was gonna cancel it and everything, but then I was like, let me just go see what David's Bridal is all about because of all the reviews. I knew I already had my dress and something told me I wouldn't find anything better there and just to go, just to see how the experience is so I could share with you all how it went for me. So, Without further ado, let's get into this little vlog slash video that I took while I was there at Davis Bridal. And then I will come back here and give you guys my, you know, pros and cons of shopping there. Keep watching. So I'm finally here at Davis Bridal here in Atlanta. I know you guys know I already picked my wedding dress, but I already had an appointment scheduled to come here on this day. I was gonna cancel it, but then I'm like, let me go see what the girls are talking about. So on social media and everywhere, they always talk about like, it's either people have really good experiences with David Br David's bridal or horrible experiences. And mostly horrible when you a plus size model like myself. So I said, let me just go see what David Bridal is giving. I'm open to having a reception dress. I mean, it wasn't a must have, but if I find something cool, if I don't, at least I said I did it. So my hair is just a mess. <laughs> so this video, I'm gonna go to David's Bridal. I'm gonna give you guys a thorough review of how my experience was. I hope you guys enjoy and let's see. Let's see what David Bridal is giving. All right. I also want to add this tidbit. I'm actually coming to this um, consultation by myself. So pray for me that I get some good footage. And yeah, it's just me, myself, and I. So let's go. Oh, pockets is always a good selling point. <laughs> the train is gorgeous. So this obviously would be a keyhole. A keyhole. Uh -huh. Yes. I like this. This and is pretty. very different from your first dress. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I like this. Do you want to see it? Come um, stand up here so you can actually... You have the light one that you Oh, okay. Kick. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. I like this. I can see me mm -hmm. moving in this. <laughs> I do like this. This is very pretty. I'm going to get it back. Oh, yes, please. Stunning on this dress. Yeah. Um, I love this. They're really plump. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I love the train on this. Let's come over here. Not too far from your The first one, yeah. First That's what I was thinking of. Um, but it's different. It is different with the yeah. is this like a pink? Yes, it's a blush. A blush. Yes. <laughs> Love it. It looks a little boxy to me, but it's different. It's different, but yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like yeah. I look a little. So I know this wouldn't be a pick of mine, but I do think it's pretty for the right shape. Yeah, yeah they could definitely do that. <laughs> I think this is a little, um, even though there's a very low. Mhm. Mm yes. Yeah. yeah, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't give you a boxy. Yeah. Okay, but I do love this train. Oh, let's go over here. This is a little bit big for you. Yeah. This is what we have going on here. The train. Yes. Yeah, I do love this. Yeah, let's come over here. Yeah, it doesn't have pockets. All right, so that is my experience while I was inside of Davis Bridal. I know I didn't have much dialogue, but you guys got to see the dresses and kind of got to look around how the store was. Now, I'm going to share my thoughts on Davis Bridal um, in no particular order. I'm just going to just say things that happened while I was there. So I see why people call it the Walmart of like dress bridal shopping because it definitely is a downgraded experience versus going to a actual bridal boutique, a bridal suite. Um, I have been to a few of those and uh, Davis Bridal was a very much a different experience. So I got in, they were ready for me, everything. And the consultant, I don't know if that's what you call the people who help you, but the consultant there that they paired me with was very nice. But I could tell that she was new. So I got in and she was like, okay, over here. Um, again, you guys, I am plus size, so I already knew. Oh, show me the plus, where the plus section at. Can't do these dresses over here. So she's like, look over here. We have great um, a range of sizes for you. So what I can say is Davis Bridal has sizes from very petite to larger um, full figure women. So they have a great, to me, size range, I would say. I don't know what the cap is, but there were dresses I tried on that were clipped all the way up. Like I had a 24 at one point. 
that y'all on a 28? Um, I know for sure I believe it was a 24. So dresses were too big for me and I'm sure they even go up in size. So if you are a plus size girl, Davis Bridal will have options for you. However, all the boutiques I went to, they had dress sizes for me as well. So it wasn't, I didn't go in any boutique that said um, they didn't have my size. So I think boutiques as well as Davis Bridal, you'll get the, the size range that you're looking for. So, you know, mm -mm -mm, on the sizes at Davis Bridal. So the consultant told me just to look at the dresses. She kind of explained a section like this one is the, is a Galena. This one is this, these dresses are on sale. You know, look, pick about five out. So I just went around and just opened up the dresses. Um, and she, you know, the ones I like, she would write down on a little note. And then after I picked out two, you know, I, sometimes I like for my consultant to pick a dress, like every shop I've been at, oh, I take that back. Only one, the shop that I chose my dress at was the only boutique where the consultant picked that dress out in. But I picked out the rest, so I guess she's seen my style, what I was going for, so the dress she suggested. I was like, oh, I like this one, I love it. So we have that. So I told her how I was looking for lace, you know, a train. So she showed me, like, oh, maybe this, maybe this. Mm, I wouldn't say she had, was much help. She just didn't come off to me as like a bridal stylish kind of person. Again, I could tell she was new because um, I'll get to that once I got to the end. They were, someone was assisting her of letting me know how to put me in the system, how to save the dresses. I could tell like she was being trained. And that is no issue because everyone has to have their first day on the job. Like you're not gonna get better without experience. So she was very nice. And I think she did the best she could with the knowledge that she had. She was nice. Um, so I picked out a few dresses. She said she's gonna go to the back or the stock, pick out my sizes. She put me in a room. I tried on the dresses. She clamped me, review on the clamps. All the bridal boutiques that I've been to, the clamps really this. I don't know if it's the quality of the dress, but the dress, the consultants really like clamped you in when the dress is too big, so it really felt tight. The way she was clamping me, it didn't feel secure. Sometimes I was scared to step out, thought the dress was gonna fall, I was gonna be exposed. So the clamping was different. And I even looked at the clamps and they weren't, I don't know if the bridal boutiques just have heavy duty, you know, am I saying clamps or clasp? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry if I'm referring to the wrong thing, but when a dress is too big and they are tightening it up for you, David's bridal, the, the clamps were weak. I just didn't feel like, mm, like tight like I did at the boutiques. So it was that. I step out. I go, you know, into the full mirrors. I didn't. I do think the mirrors and the lighting there is excellent. If you're trying to, you know, get a full view of your dress. Um, my consultant was not pushy. She didn't. She was not. Um. I get something today, you need to get it. So that was good. Uh, dresses that I didn't like, she was just like, go ahead and just take that off. Like, we're not even gonna have you walk out to the floor. Like, take it off, you don't like it, take it off. So I did like that. Um, what else can I say? <sighs> However, you know, the dresses there were not terrible. Of course, the quality, the detail is not the same as you see in boutique dresses. If you're a bride that's on a smaller budget, I mean, you could have a larger budget, but if you're on a smaller budget, Davis Bridal, head on over there, in my opinion. I mean, hopefully you have a good experience with the consultant you have, but if you're on a smaller budget, I think Davis Bridal is, you know, something to go to. Uh, the experience wasn't intimate. Every other bridal shop I've been to, they gave me champagne or wine. You just felt the ambiance of I'm somewhere for a wedding. Like when you walked in the building, it just gave you that. Davis Bridal gives you like TJ Maxx, Ross vibes, Walmart, you know. It's, 
it's clean, but it's like you can tell it's not a boutique. It's not swank, you know. So if you're on a tighter budget, definitely uh, check out David's Bridal. Something I thought about as far as David's Bridal versus a boutique. The boutique where I got my dress, that dress will not be in for another eight to nine months. When did I pick my dress out? June? And they told me it won't be here until December, January. <laughs> oh, David's Bridal was one dress that I liked. I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. So she ended up going up to the front, coming back. Like, well, if you wanted to get this dress, um, it'll be here by September. I'm like, September? Again, you guys, it's July. So she told me September it would be in. So I don't know what's the cause of that but in my opinion just from that david's bridal dresses come in much quicker than um a bridal boutique so there's a little tidbit for you everybody that is my thorough review of my experience at david's bridal again i'm not gonna say no to going there they have great size options they have affordable prices they um Oh, offer, you know, if you're into doing that, you can get like a credit card and put the dress on a credit card and your like bridesmaids and mom and sisters or whoever can like get discounts on dresses. So there's something that you don't find at other bridal boutiques, the payment options. Um, so sizing, payment options, variety, yeah, David's Bridal, you're going to get that. But if you want like an experience, something memorable, you want, you know, a little bit more quality, a little bit more, you know, luxury or at least feeling like your dress may be a one of a kind, head to the Bridal Boutiques. If you have a larger budget for buying yourself a dress, go to a bridal boutique i suggest getting that experience but david's bridal was not it wasn't bad for me uh i of course wouldn't go i wouldn't uh, i already know if i had went there first i would not have found my dress if that was my first experience i would have walked out with nothing you know so there's that oh or if you want to get a reception dress like go on to david's bridal go go see what the girls are talking about but it's just not it's not bridal boutique, but it's not horrible. You're on a budget. You're trying to keep the the budget low for your dress and your whole wedding. Nothing's wrong with that. Go to David's Bridal, see what they're doing, and have yourself a good time, okay? So that's my thorough review of David's Bridal. Have you shopped at David's Bridal? Let me know how your experience was down below. I would love to hear about how everyone else has experienced David's Bridal because if you get on YouTube, check out the reviews david's bridal it doesn't get a lot of good reviews but then you see those that say they had a great experience so to each their own hopefully you have an amazing consultant or someone super nice like i did and you have a great experience as well thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate you all support per usual if you like what you see here, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. If you like my personality and you want to follow me and get to know me more personally, you can check me right here on my Instagram at Portia T. Air. Send me a message. DM me, girl. I always respond. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on my next video.